You don't know? So where did you last see her? Back in Tokyo, during the Sakura, we had a picnic in the park. Tokyo? Sorry, I don't know the city very well. Is that below Midtown? It is a different city. You mean like a different district? When I last saw her, it was not in Nivellis. Sorry, Tico, I think you might be getting confused. There is only Nivalis. Everything west is just townships and settlements. There are no more cities. This is it. We grew up together. I've known her since I was 13. Tico, that must have been a very long time ago. I don't really understand when people talk like that. You don't understand what? Time? When people say the feelings are from long ago, they don't change. The people you cared about when you were young, have those feelings gone away? I guess not, but some of them aren't around to love anymore. I don't understand. We sat under the cherry blossoms. She ate fresh strawberries, and we watched the sun rise together every day through the summer. Then one day the sun rose, and it was too bright, far too bright. Her family said they would have to move away. I think your memories go back very far, Tico. Nari and I grew up together. Even after the big sunrise when she moved away, all I wanted was to see her again. When she left, it was like I didn't exist anymore. When she moved to Tokyo, we would see each other less and less often. Then, one day... It is not fair. I moved here from far away, too. I know how you feel. Are you alone here, too? Not quite. I have one friend, maybe two. I have to keep looking for Nari. She might be looking for me, too. Where will you go next? I have heard people live in the thermal vents where they use the steam to stay alive. I will look for Nari there. She always liked the bathhouses. That sounds like a good plan. Do you think the vents will be like the bathhouses back in our village? I don't think so, Tico. But you never know. Bon, ça a pas l'air d'être une estuaire euh, très joyeuse là, qui, qui est en train de vivre là, notre euh, ami de Tico là. Bon alors, il va falloir qu'on monte, hein. c'est pas tout ça, qu'on avance. Ah, il y a une petite carte euh, par là. Ah non, c'est au-dessus. Euh, ouais non, j'ai pas l'impression que c'est là. Ouais, ça a l'air d'être au-dessus. Bon, euh, là, il y a un ascenseur. Alors, comment on y va Alors, il est là, ok. Ok Bon, j'espère que c'est le bon chemin. <rire> Je suis pas sûr de retrouver ma voiture après. Ok. C'est quoi ça C'est un robot aussi Ah, elle est là. Hop. Euh, si, oui, ça doit être par là. C'est marrant, il hein, y a les, euh, les mêmes véhicules volants dans, dans Cyberpunk 2077. Là, On sent les, les inspirations très fortes de la littérature et du cinéma. Quoi. Bon, on va lui livrer son, son module de je sais plus quoi là. Are you never slow, Joe? Never slow no, Joe. No, I am currently very slow Joe. You got my converter? Yeah. Thanks, Cloudpunk. I'm gonna give you this old one. 
It's busted, but <clears throat> if you get it back to Emmett, he can fix it up and sell it on for a good handful of limps. These converters are worth a lot of money? Well, they sure are. I owe Emmett, so you make sure it gets back to him safe here. Without the trade-in value in that busted converter, I wouldn't be able to afford this repair. My racing days would be over. Early retirement. I'd go mad. I'll get it back to Emmett. Thanks, Cloudpunk. Yeah, I can't believe you drive around the city in that piece of junk. You're brave, oh bah, merci. kid. <laughs> what do they call you? Rania. Ah, that's no good. My name's no good? What do you suggest? On the run, Rania. What do you think? I like <laughs> it. All right. On the run, Rania. I gotta go. I've got a race to win. I'll see you around. Eh ben super, on a récupéré un objet. Euh... Bon, J'ai pas l'impression qu'il y ait grand chose ici, on va redescendre. I am back. Did you hear all of that? On the run, Rania? I don't like it. He's a racer, <laughs> not a poet, Camus. Are you going to take the old part back to the mechanic man? I'm not sure. If I sold it, I'd make a lot of limbs quick. Won't you get in trouble? I don't think so. The races are illegal and dangerous. Joe is an old man. Maybe it would be safer if he retired. If I give this part back to Emmett to settle his old debts, he'll keep racing. So... Are you going to sell the part at some other mechanic man? Or take it to the Mr. Emmett mechanic man? Mm. On va le... On va faire ce qu'a dit le gars. On va, on va se la jouer... Euh... On est gentil. Euh, là je vois qu'il y a un autre objet là. Yes. Il y en a un autre là-bas, dis donc. Ah oui, celui qui était à l'étage du coup. Euh... Bon, on va remonter. On, va... on est là pour explorer aussi. Hein. <coughs> Ça serait bien de, de, de conclure. Hein. Le l'arc Evelyn là aussi, là on, a, on est à la moitié. J'espère que c'est ça. Ouais, de toute façon, il n'y a pas le choix. Hein. Hop. Le restaurant et c'est au bout, donc ça va être par là. Là. C'est pas une carte, c'est quoi Prospectus, d'accord. Hop, bon, bon, je, ouais, on va, on va suivre euh, le, le conseil de des mythes, là. de du, je ne sais déjà plus comment il s'appelle. là. On va rapporter le convertisseur. On pourrait se faire de la thune, mais bon, est-ce qu'on en a vraiment besoin pour le moment? On a dit qu'on se la faisait euh, corporate, hein. on fait euh, ce que le client y veut. Et voilà. <rire> Pour l'instant, on n'a pas eu des, des choix trop, euh, trop compliqués à prendre. Euh, où est ma voiture euh, Par là-bas. Oh, c'est cool les jeux comme ça. Hein. Prends pas la tête, y a pas besoin de, de skill. Un petit peu de réflexion, voilà, de l'exploration. Je pense qu'on a besoin de, de plus de jeux comme ça. Euh, non, par là. Par contre, faut bien réussir à se repérer dans l'espace. Hein. Parce que, à <rire> mon avis, on peut vite se perdre. 
ça a l'air plutôt bien foutu en termes de, de level design. Euh, pour le moment, je, je me suis jamais senti perdu. C'est pas forcément simple à appréhender en vrai. Hein. Il y a des petites icônes là, faut les, faut les comprendre. Et puis, on va plus avoir d'essence aussi. Il va peut-être falloir penser à faire le plein un moment là. Cet OST là. Alors, ah mince, c'est pas ça que je veux faire. Ah oui, il faut que je suive l'autre point, Kaliton. Kaliton. Quelle andouille. Quelle andouille. Alors, par contre. Euh C'est quoi déjà pour euh, la station service C'est le truc là, ok, d'accord. Euh, ouais, bah je vais voir si je vois l'icône. Là. Ah oui, c'est un bidon, j'avais pas fait attention. Il y a des petites baisses de framerate hein, quand même. Allez. Euh, du coup, on suit le point jaune. Et la vue intérieure, elle donne une, une bonne petite ambiance. Hein, avec euh, l'appui là sur le, sur le pare-brise et tout. Là, là on est bien. Là, je crois qu'on se garde. Non, c'est pas là. Salut, Emmett. Hi, Emmett. Joe said to give this to you. Joe's near as old as me. Can't believe he's still racing. He said this clears his debt? Close enough. He doesn't win many races these days. 14th place doesn't award a lot of prize money. So he won't need to retire? Soon, but not today. This wipes the slate for me. I'll fix up his hova when he comes in again. That's good, I guess. See you later, Emmett. Will Joe keep racing? I guess that's up to him. Um, okay. I found out more about Cora. It's very confusing. Hold on to it for now. I've got something I've got to do. <gasps> Another job? No, if you're about to give me a headache worth of data, I need a coffee first. Allez, on va aller prendre un petit café. Parce qu'on a bien travaillé. On a fait une bonne action. Là, on est bien. Là, là, là on se sent bien dans nos vies. <rire>
Non, je suis pas sûr de mon coup là. Non, ouais, on va pas pouvoir passer par là, je pense. Ah, c'est vraiment une ambiance de folie. Hein. Avec la petite zik et tout. Il n'y a rien qui nous stresse. C'est vraiment trop cool. On va dans la vieille ville. Mais c'est ouais, c'est le, le seul point négatif que je trouve à jeu, c'est ça, ce, ces, ces zones à ces temps de chargement. Ouais. Je pense qu'il y aurait eu moyen avec euh, la next gen là, de, là, de pallier à ça en fait. Hein, de... Là ça en open world, là, ça aurait été trop cool. Enfin, c'est plus ou moins un open world. Hein. Mais il y a des temps de chargement. Quoi. Qui ont été très réduits sur PS5. Je me rappelle que bah, j'avais commencé à le faire sur PS4. Et euh, ouais, c'était pas agréable. Hein. Ça, ça coupait carrément l'immersion. Hein. Là, ça va. Hein. C'est quelques secondes. Alors. un café là alors faut trouver un parking genre là non ça a l'air d'être le plus proche ça doit être ça ce que je disais en termes de level design là euh, voilà on est on, a, on se perd pas hein, malgré que la ville soit hyper balèze et tout là et qui est pas forcément beaucoup de repères en fait hein, pour, pour se retrouver parce que les voilà là, tous les bâtiments se ressemblent et tout mais euh, bah, on s'y retrouve hein. C'est cool. Alors qu'est-ce que c'est que ça C'est un personnage Ah oui. Employé de corset. Ah on l'a déjà vu lui non Ah non c'est un autre. Alors il y a un objet par là. C'est là. sur 20 c'est pas mal c'est pas mal c'est quoi dynamite simpson hey come here a minute i'm busy wait i, I just want to talk you're not from around here i can tell because of my dark exotic eyes right give me a break no because you obviously don't realize who i am When someone around here gets my attention, they're flattered. You're right. I don't know who you are. Let me finish my coffee in peace, please. I'm Dynamite Simpson. Even if you haven't heard of me, you'll have heard one of my music projects for sure. If you say so. Look, I'm in need of some authentic Eastern fashions for my next music video. I see that embroidery on your sleeve. Eastern Peninsula, right? You're a music video director? I'm a record exec, video director, entrepreneur, guitar player, social media hub, brand construction technician. Come on. And you want my <laughs> sleeve? Not exactly. I'd like to use the floral design in the background for my next music video. Much as your cultural appropriation of my favorite cardigan sounds tempting. Tell me a little more about your people. I really don't feel like it. I bet your people enjoy my music. Even there, beyond the city? I don't think we do. Ah, perhaps playing my music requires technology beyond your means. We're not savages, we're farmers. And we have our own music. Your own music? Your own fashion? How novel. I must learn more. How could I learn about your people's music? Did you grow up playing tribal drums? What? I grew up playing Bach. So you're a musician? Not anymore. Shooting begins in five minutes. I'll learn more about your music, but for now, can I take a photo of that design? If you pay me. Perhaps, if you tell me more, what does the pattern mean? It's a catapult. For my people, it's a gift mothers give their daughters to protect them. From? Predatory men. Really? This will be perfect in Dolly's next video. I have one in my pocket. 
I brought it from home. It's dried. Really? Might I have it? Show me the limbs. Here, take them. You would really allow me to have this. Sell your cultural gift from your mother? Sure, I gotta eat. Excellent. I think this will look fantastic in Dolly's hair in the music video. Pleasure doing business with you. I must go, but we might speak again. Goodbye. Bon, rencontre de, de drôles de personnages. Oh no, your mother's flower. You gave it away. Mom didn't give that to me. I found it growing near a sewage plant. I used it as a bookmark. <laughs> Does it really protect women from predatory men? It's just a dead flower, Camus. Bon, on va aller prendre notre café. Ah, il y a un... Ah, on peut... Non, on va pas pouvoir aller chercher l'objet. On va aller prendre notre café. Ah, je pense que c'est... Euh... C'est important de... de... Bah, de discuter avec les gens qu'on croit sur notre chemin. S'ils sont mis là, généralement, c'est pas pour rien. Ah si il est là, hop. Qu'est-ce que c'est Détonateur à distance, d'accord. Um, hey, you okay? Yes, yes, I'll, I'll be fine. I just need to rest for a moment. <laughs> Maybe some food. Are you from the Eastern Peninsula? No, from the steppes. My name's Haldo. I'm, uh, was a dentist. Rania, driver. So what went wrong? Everything. Hypergentrified rent closed my office, a debt corp took my augments. The wounds didn't heal. I was in pain. I started with Jews and worked my way up the periodic table of painkillers till I got here. So now I could barely see. Take some money for food. Thank you, Rania. Your people are always decent. You know, uh, I always wanted to see the Eastern Peninsula one day. Maybe you will. <laughs> What a lovely smile you have when you tell a kind lie, Rania. Okay, les gentils. Euh, ah oui, alors du coup, vu qu'on a ramassé le truc bizarre là, on peut ramener ça au. Alors je crois qu'en fait je me suis pas du tout garé là où il fallait. Ou alors il y a un autre chemin. Parce qu'en fait c'est l'obol bol néo café là. Ah si on peut se téléporter. Euh... Je vais ramener le truc au... au policier là je suppose que c'est ça la corpo machin là. Corp sec ça doit être euh, ouais, une espèce de police ça, je, je suppose. Agent de sécurité, quoi. Milice privée. Hi, I uh, found this. I thought I should hand it in to the authorities, or someone who might know what to do with it. Ma'am, what is this? I don't know. I found it. I think it might be. Give it to me now. Yes, I was just going to. I came to you. Is this some kind of scam? You know what? I'm just going to leave. What does this button do? No idea. Bye then. Stay here. I am going to get to the bottom of this. You go ahead. I have no idea what that button does, though, so for safety's sake, I suggest you... Hmm, nothing happened. Did you just press that? I literally just said... Nothing happened again. Stop pressing the button. Ma'am, I'm going to ask you to step back, please. Fine. I don't want to be around you while you press a big red button on what looks a lot like a detonator anyway. Wait. Something happened. Ugh. A light came on. There's words on the screen. What does it say? I can't read it. Let me see. 
Here. I can read this. It's Arabic. And? It says, please don't press this button again. <laughs> I swear, that's what it says. All right, then. Well, I'd better ask my supervisor about this. Uh, please move along, ma'am. Does your supervisor speak Arabic? No. Why? No reason. Ok. Bon, on va aller prendre notre café du coup, hein. <rire> C'est sympa, hein, toutes ces micro-histoires là qu'il y, qu y a sur le chemin. C'est pas forcément des personnages qu'on reverra, mais. C'est sympa, quoi. Alors, il est là, le au café. Amateur de café, on va lui parler. I saw you looking at me from over there. I was just going to ask if this was the only coffee place in the zone. I'm from out of town, and this coffee is... Like Hova oil? Well, I was going to say it's below average, but yeah. No, this is the only place. I've been coming here since I was in my teens. You look like you're still in your teens. It's the coffee. It's stunned in my growth. So, you're actually... 75. Well, Grandpa, it was nice to meet you. Uh, hey, uh, wait up. What's your name? I'm Rania. I drive deliveries. And I've got another job coming up, so... Do you... Uh, want to do something? Are you asking me on a date? <laughs> no, I mean, all right, we could just do something and see what happens. Do something. How specific? We could... Come on, coffee guy. What could we do? Bowling. Ew. I'm not a fan of bowling. I know a range downtown. It lets you fire the big pulse rifles. <laughs> I don't like <laughs> no, no pulse <laughs> rifles or any guns, really. They tend to get aimed at people a lot. We only shoot targets. I believe the humans and the targets can coexist peacefully. Uh, what about pizza? <laughs> Better. What kind? Artichoke and Avo? From the new hipster Aww. place uptown. Ooh, a swing and a miss. Sorry, coffee guy. Maybe some other time. If I see you here again, I'll have thought of something you like, Rania. We'll see. Alors, euh... Les amis, hein, c'est pas comme ça qu'il faut draguer les filles. Hein. Pas avec de la pizza à l'artichaut. <rire> Alors. Il euh, y a un petit objet là-bas, on va les voir. C'est quoi ce bruit là Un truc à péter là, non C'est ça Ça fume le bol, je sais pas. Bon, je trouve pas l'objet. C'est peut-être en dessous. C'est ça qui est compliqué par contre, hein. On sait pas. Euh... En termes de niveau, là, les objets ils sont pas forcément indiqués. Ouais, non, ils seraient là autrement, je pense. Ah, si. J'ai cru voir un truc là. Là, oh là là, c'est compliqué hein. Voilà. Alors il y en a un autre là-bas. C'est pas évident évident de les repérer les objets. Hein. Ah d'accord, c'est parce que moi j'ai tendance à me mettre euh, le pointeur, en fait faut, faut carrément venir dessus, d'accord. Bon, bah. 
faut on s'adapte hein, aux mécaniques hein, du jeu petit à petit. Alors ça j'imagine que c'est la vendeuse. Non, c'est qui Dania. Excuse me, I see you sell old stuff. Do you know what this is? Pass it here, let's see. Hmm. Oh my. Ah oui, la cassette. What is it? I thought maybe an old music storage. Music? No, not at all. This is a game. An old one at that. Where did you find it? Actually, it was near some trash. No, I don't believe it. So it's an antique. Oh yes, this was played on a Spectrum home computer. 48K. Oh, Spectrum. You needed an interface to make the joystick work. Kempstern or Protec. Otherwise you had to play on the rubber keys. Even the words I understood in that sentence didn't make sense. <laughs> It's like this, you see. You put this tape into a tape recorder first and... Nope, still no clue. Long ago, information was stored on magnetic tapes. You see the strips here? These wound round playheads or something like that. No one knows exactly how it operated now. But we can feed this into our comprehender and it gives us executable code. So, this was a game people played on a screen? Oh yes, it would take a long time to upload the data to memory. And the executable data itself is tiny. It's hard to comprehend how our progenitors managed to work within such strict memory constraints. You're really into this stuff, aren't you? I'm interested in the technology, sure. But what really fascinates me is this game. You controlled a little sprite. You walked along a street and you punched everyone you came across. <laughs> We believe these old games were deeply symbolic, like Sisyphus with the rock. So they were morality lessons? We collectors believe so. I think every one of these classic games can teach us a lesson. What did punching people in the street teach us? Metaphorically, ah, it is telling us that we cannot simply fight urban decay through physical force. You see, in this game, when you win, you start again. So the cycle repeats. Exactly. So through the game, we learn that the violence is entertainment. But the creator of the game seeks to tell us that violence is also pointless. These old games were pretty deep. How did this end up lying on the street? There's plenty of other street vendors who are collectors like me. One of them, Old Sinclair, he died last week. And you're not really allowed to own this stuff. If Corpsec catches you... Oh, I'm sorry about Mr. Sinclair. He was in the zone that fell into the sea last month. Can't be helped. You should keep your eye out for more of these. They may be scattered all over the city. You'll pay me for them? I sure will, as long as you keep it quiet. In fact, I can even show you this one if you like. It has a two-player mode. We can punch people in the street together. Maybe another time. Just the limbs ouais, are fine. <laughs> le, le succès PlayStation là, c'est l'OA de, enfin l'OA de, avec deux guillemets là, c'était une, une commande qu'on utilisait sur les vieux ordi. <laughs> Donc euh, ouais, donc si on chope des, des cassettes, faudra lui ramener à elle. Enfin, je suis pas certain de me rappeler de, de l'emplacement, mais bon, bref. Alors il y a un autre truc là-bas, je sais pas si on peut y accéder, là, on va voir. Avant ah, bon, d'aller prendre notre, notre café. Les personnages qui, ont du, qui sont stylés quand même. Et, euh, les petits néons là. Ah si on va peut-être pour. Yes, carte perforée. 12 sur 20. Bon on est pas mal. Bon, J'espère que j'en ai pas loupé au début du jeu. Il a pas l'air très net cet hôtel. Hein. Bon allez, on va aller prendre notre, euh, notre petit Kowa. Une 
Neo. Welcome to Neo's Neo Cafe. I'm Neo. What can I get you? Un café du coup, hein, se payer un café. That's good. Thanks for this, Neo. Have a spectacular day. Ah, voilà, on a, on a bu notre café. Bon, on va se barrer de là. Hein. Hello, is that you? Camus, why are you calling me on the comm? I'm on a coffee break here. I have a reason. Is the reason that you don't like being alone? Yes, that is it. Is it okay? It's fine. I'm glad of the company. Why do you need the coffee? I've never worked night shift before, Camus. Coffee creates the illusion that I'm actually still awake. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. You don't sleep. I sleep. I guess you go offline and recompile your source code. That's a bit like sleeping. I sleep. Okay, I heard you. Tell me what you found out about Cora. I found three different types of things about... Chemist, this data analysis and retrieval, it's not that you can't do it. It's just it's a bit dry. Why don't we let the generic automata take care of this part? You can go offline for a bit. Sleep. Sure. Custom personality Camus offline. Generic automata reinstated. All right, Mr. Personality. Tell me what we know about <laughs> Cora now. Three distinct data points of origin for Cora. Two deprecated and accessible only via the underweb. Warning, your automata was detected accessing this information and your identity was compromised. Shit. Well, too late to do anything about it now. Tell me what you found. Give me the official data first. Cora is a term colloquially used by citizens of Nivalis to refer to the combination of AI and mechanical systems, which manage the logistical and maintenance systems operating throughout the city. I knew that much. Go on. As an anthropomorphism of a mercurial personality, it is unclear if Cora exhibits a form of sentience or sapience. Best data suggests Cora is fundamentally inconceivable by human intelligence, existing just beyond the event horizon of biological minds. Not helpful at all. Why do people keep talking about Cora then? Day-to-day -day usage of Cora in conversation invokes the term in the same way one might talk about fate, luck, or serendipity. Example? I checked my balance and I'm all out of credits. Cora knows where it all went. There are two more data points for Cora? Yes, one from City Archive in a defunct data pool called the Internet. Another from a paper-based text called The Exegesis, a pseudo-historical book scanned and OCR'd 109,572.75 days ago. Read me the extract of the exit whatever. Reigning atop a hierarchy of smaller automatons, VIs, androids, and machines, Cora is the last of the 12 founders. Complex AIs that formed an advisory council for the human rulers of the city. Why did the founders fail? Did their source code encounter insurmountable logical errors? Or, worst of all, did the founders choose to abandon humanity? And if so, will Korra soon make that same choice? What's your confidence rating on the accuracy of this information? 11.40%. Higher than I thought. Does everyone in the city know this stuff but me? Cora is commonly discussed, appearing in up to 0.8% of all communication, but little substantive, verifiable data exists as to its nature. Read me the last data, the one from the internet. Cora, computer operated recycling agent. That's it? I don't know how this relates to hackers or AI. No further data available. Make a copy of that exegesis thing to local storage, encrypted. 
If I get a data violation, I don't want to lose access. And bring Camus back online. Activating custom automata personality, Camus. Did you find out about Cora? More or less. I don't know what I was hoping for. Will you get food too? Not hungry. Hey Camus, have a look at the cafe menu. Do you see all the different types? If you drank coffee, what type would you order? Uh, donut coffee? That's not really... <laughs> oh no, I said something dumb. Actually, Camus, I think donut coffee sounds pretty great. Amélioration de véhicule débloqué, répulseur véhicule verticaux, d'accord. Bon là on a plus spécialement de mission là. Alors, je sais pas ce qu'il faut faire. Alors je vois un point là, on va y aller, on va voir. Je sais pas trop ce que ça représente. Ah oui c'est les portes, ok, d'accord. Bon, on va aller la Calédone. Bon, j'imagine qu'on va recevoir un appel à un moment. Are you out of your hava? I was on a break. There are no breaks for me or for you. Have you seen the vids? No, why? More accidents in Sector 21. No, uh, Sector 23. Or is it 21? Bombings? Not sure. This is bad for us. We've lost more drivers this week than in the past year. Everything okay, Control? I don't know, kid. I don't know. What's your real name? I'm tired of numbers. Rania. I'm gonna look out for you, Rania. Things will get better after tonight. I promise. We just need to get through this one night. What's your name, Control? I'm not supposed to say. Goddamn. Is something going wrong over there? You sound... It's all wrong here. I just... Maybe I'll tell you after this job. Okay. What you got for me? In Gallows Row, there's an old escalator called the Ascension. Someone at the base wants to surrender a package of their belongings. Where does the escalator go? Trust me, Rania. This job will be much easier for you if you don't ask that question again. You're looking for a guy named Gil. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah? Enjoy your coffee. All I got is a bottle of sake stashed in my desk drawer. And tonight, I'm having a drink. If they're not happy with that, they can fucking fire me. Cheers. <laughs> That's a headache, Control. Alors, récupérer les affaires de Jill. Okay. Alors en revanche, euh, j'ai pas de marqueur. Ah si, derrière moi. Hop. Allez, c'est parti. Ah bah c'était dans la vieille ville. C'est pas à côté apparemment. Je vois pas le. 
L'indicateur de dégâts par contre je... je sais pas où on voit ça en fait. Ah c'est peut-être le Non bah non c'est pas le bon. Je vais repasser en vue. Euh... Alors le... le truc autour... Euh... Ah, c'est peut-être ça. Le... Autour de la map là il y a un, un demi-cercle. C'est peut-être ça le... L'état du véhicule, je sais pas. Le jeu nous dit rien, donc... Joli quartier là. Alors euh, par contre euh, où on se gare Là. Ok. Je vois qu'il y a un objet là-bas, je sais pas si on va pouvoir y aller. Non, il doit être sur le pont là-haut. Là. Ah bah si, là l'objet il est indiqué, euh... on a la hauteur d'indiquer, ça veut dire qu'il est au-dessus de nous, d'accord. Ah oui si, c'est indiqué en fait les trucs, j'ai pas fait attention. Oh, faut avoir les, les yeux partout hein. Bon allez, on va aller, on va aller faire la quête là. Donc là, en théorie, l'objet, il est ici. Voilà, ok, d'accord. Et là, le gars, il est en dessous de nous. Ok. Et là, notre objectif, il est en dessous. Là-bas, d'accord. Donc ça veut dire qu'il va probablement falloir prendre un ascenseur. Il y a d'avoir des ascenseurs par le bas, on va les voir. Ah bah là. Bah non, il est en dessous. Ah mais peut-être qu'il est là aussi. Ah voilà, c'est ça, d'accord. Hop, il va arriver. Ok. C'est tout à fait safe un gros trou comme ça. Main humaine. Ah bah super. Un truc à péter encore là. Il 
Yes. 13 sur 20. Ah mais 100% j'en ai oublié un au début du jeu là. Et euh... <rire> bon après faudra survoler la ville peut-être à la recherche de ces trucs là. Voilà. Le jeu a l'air de voilà, nous emmener au... dans les endroits qu'il faut. Il faut juste prendre le temps d'explorer. Puis... Hello Jimmy. Hey, got a minute? Sure, you got a minute. Who doesn't have a minute? It's uh, less than 60 seconds. Near enough, right? <rire> Uh, Jimmy is the name. Jimmy, roll high. I don't really have a minute. You're uh, wondering about the hands, right? You gotta know, everyone does. <laughs> they, they always ask me about the hands. I always say the same thing. I, I do. I always say, if the shuffle wasn't working, they wouldn't have needed to break them. I'm right, right? Were you cheating at cards? Roll high. Wasn't I clear before when I says my name? Sure I was. You was listening. <laughs> You're a clever lady. I got in trouble because I could roll double sixes every single time. Really? Near enough. Near enough that they broke my hand for it. Then when I learned with the other, they broke that too. Now, if I could just get some limbs for augments, I know I can make the money back for you at the table. I'm not interested. Sorry. You'll be back. They always comes back. I got the skills, lady. <laughs> You're gonna invest in them one day. I'm telling you. Bon, on les, on les récupérer les affaires de Jill. Ah, oh, y a encore quelqu'un là. Un fauconnier, ça alors. Hey, are you interested in having your photo taken with this magnificent creature? Just 100 limbs. No. Wouldn't you like to know his name? He is Norman. Hi, Norman. Norman. Is he a real bird? Norman isn't a bird. He's a falcon. A real one? Well, he's not a hologram. But is he a real falcon or is he artificial? Ah, I understand your question now. Uh, you must think this is based on an animal. This is not. It is a unique creation. A falcon. I've seen falcons before. No, you must be mistaken. Perhaps you have seen a sparrow. They are very similar. You see, I specialize in chimeras. What are chimeras? Well, you know, there's a huge market for artificial animals, especially those that are rare or extinct. Chimeras are different. They are artificial animals which uh, never existed, created from the imagination of man. But I told you I've seen a real falcon. Eh? Ah, where? Well, they're extinct now, I guess, but I saw them all the time when I was young. I'm from the Eastern Peninsula. They would circle around the farm in the summer, until the big dust storms hit back in the year of the dragon. Listen, lady, I need you to do me a favor. Uh, okay. What? Please leave, and don't tell anyone that there are real falcons, huh? Sure, but why does it make any difference? When people know they're looking at something that once existed instead of something that never could, they get depressed. And sad hmm. people don't spend money. Tangila. Are you the delivery person? Rania, yeah, I'm to take your package. It's everything. My limbs, com, holocrons, augments, everything I own. Make sure my family gets it. Just drop it in the post. I can't leave the queue or I'll lose my place. Are you sure about this? Yeah. A chance to see the spire. I, I gotta take the shot. I get to go above the clouds. Is it safe? 
Sure, yeah. Of course. Okay then. Good luck, I guess. Hey, thanks. Maybe I'll see you around. Maybe. Ah ouais, alors il veut aller se rendre à l'espèce de Babylone. Babylon, Babylon. <laughs> hey Rania, you met that guy going on the ascension? Is he really going through with it? He says the ascension takes him to the spire. It sure does. And no further. What do you mean? It's an escalator to nowhere. It just ends. Then what? Well, then he falls a few miles down into the sea. Who would build an escalator that goes nowhere? You think everything in the city is logical? Look around, Rania. None of this makes sense. The city AI has gone mad. He said it was safe. Before he gave you all his possessions? He knew? He knew. I don't get it. You lived outside Navalis, right? So you've, you've seen the sky. You've got that memory. I've never seen the sky. I can live without it. But imagine you'd seen it just once. What would you do to see it again? <sighs> How's the sake control? You don't drink, right? You should try it sometime, Rania. When things are going wrong, it's a great way to keep yourself trapped in the long right now. Are you a poet now, Control? You know it. What should I do with his possessions? Well, he stiffed us on the bill. His payment was rejected. So if you got anything from him, you should return it to a Cloudpunk delivery chute nearby to cover his debt. What about his family? Let me make this as clear as I can, Rania. I don't know if he gave you something or if he gave you nothing. But I knew if he gave you something, I'd have to tell you to return it to Cloudpunk HQ. Control out. Uh-huh. He sounded... different. Are we going to take Gil's things back to Cloudpunk HQ? Well, everything's packaged and postmarked. So, if we dropped them at the mail office, they'd get back to his family and Cloudpunk would never know. But maybe it would be good for us to give it to Cloudpunk? And if we broke the rules, we could get in trouble. Or get Mr. Control in trouble. Quiet for now, Camus. I have to think. Bon, notre ami avait l'air de nous inciter à donner les affaires à la famille, donc je pense que c'est ce qu'on va faire. on dira que c'est de sa faute Ouais, va falloir se garer là, je pense. <rire> 